Uh, I'm Stephanie and I run a creative agency. The agency is called Cream Pie. We were not always a creative agency. It was a freelance thing. So I always had two separate companies. One is called Sugarfin and one is called Cream Pie. And Sugarfin is a cafe. And that's where I met the founder of Lab Studios, half of the founders. I met Jasmine there, she was my customer. I served her coffee, made her coffee every day. And then we became friends and then we started working together. And she was actually one of my first few customers for Cream Pie, for interior design. And then it turned out we kept on working till this day. Learning pragmatic ways to grow a business, trying using pragmatic budgets, has actually helped with my current work so much. If not for that experience, I would have never been able to run this company. It depends on which industry they're working in, I suppose. If you're talking about like SMEs, like us, I would say always be on the balls of your feet because you just never know. You never know what's going to come. Another pandemic, no pandemic, we may be gone. I feel like everything is a buzzword. Everything is a catchphrase. Everything is a... Everybody wants to attach something negative to any word. It can be orange juice. And if you say it enough, you see it on social media, media enough, you're going to be like, I don't like that word. Like, people tell me I don't like the word. I don't like to be called KOL. I don't like the word influencer. Even if they're not, they're like, oh, I just there's a negative connotation to it. I'm just like, guys, these are just words. Before it was social media, the dictionary is just a dictionary. The Bible is just a Bible. These are all just words. How you translate words is very different. I do not put any more meaning to a word than what it is and what it explains. The idea of balance has shifted tremendously because in the past there was no balance. It was always like, I was always a go-getter, just go and get it, just go and get it. Okay, it's not working, let's try something else, let's go, let's go. And I never thought to be tired. I think the, the slowness of the pandemic actually taught me that my body needed rest. And when I do, I stop getting overwhelmed. Because as a creative, what I'm selling, the predominant thing I'm selling is in my head. I pull ideas out constantly, all the time, every day for clients. And in order to keep doing that, you need to feel happy and focused. When I say happy, I mean it in the most like linear terms, not like, I'm not overthinking at all. It's just in order to, to come up with ideas constantly and not feel like you're forced to do it, that balance is so important. And everybody talks about it now, this now, right? Balance, balance, balance. But balance is different for everyone. For me, it could be four hours in bed doing nothing. For you, it could be flying a kite. You know, it's just finding your own thing. If we want to be relevant, then I hope the lab studio people enjoy the new studio in the East with Pilates and all that, because I know I'm excited to try Pilates there. Um, but if not, I guess if they're already like, fervent followers of lab studios and I believe they have their wellness in check.